Hello everyone welcome to back my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Gabriela and Mihaela Madorsea, both 40, were reportedly spotted at John J. Park Playground in Manhattan, New York. The AGT stars, who do not have children themselves, allegedly violated the park rule, which required adults in the company of a child, according to the New York Post. A nanny claimed one of the twins wanted to braid the hair of her young charge and described the alleged encounter, it's really scary. Maybe she wants to do something else. A mother of four, Paulina, told the publication, this is my daughter's playground. I don't want adults around children. She continued, I don't know why they're not doing something better with their lives instead of hanging out at a playground. Paulina closed. You have to draw the line. The Parks Department has not been advised of any illegal activity involving the twins. The singers claimed they had become unfairly villainized by the accusations. Gabriella told the outlet, We've lived here for 16 years. For 16 years, we've gone to John Jay. It's the closest to us. She ended, It's a completely false alarm. The sisters were born in Transylvania in 1983 and attended the Bucharest National University of Arts. In 2008, the twins appeared as contestants on the reality competition show. During the third season, they performed in front of judges David Hasselhoff, 71, Sharon Osborne, 70, and Piers Morgan, 58. The current lineup includes supermodel Heidi Klum, 50, Modern Family Actress Sofia Vergara, 51, Record Executives Simon Cowell, 63, and Former Deal or No Deal host Howie Mandel, 67. With eight TGJVGEs, Sofia shared a behind-the-scenes snaps while seated at the judges' panel during the live show on Tuesday, September 12. The Hot Pursuit actress wore a skin-tight yellow dress as she pouted at the camera. Haiti could be seen in the background while leaning away from her co-star in a less than flattering angle. In the background, the German supermodel had an intense conversation with her co-stars, Howie and Simon. In the second snap, Sophia and Heidi sat next to each other on the judging panel with serious expressions. Sophia captioned the post, We'll be back next Tuesday. Gittying P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L. During the installment, Sophia made headlines when she stormed off the set after Howie asked a personal question. While taking a lie detector test, Howie made a comment about her being single again. The TV star split from her ex-husband, Joe Manganiello, 46, in July. AGT stars Indigo twins stir controversy. Upset parents over alleged behavior at NYC Playground. The Indigo twins known for their appearance on America's Got Talent, AGT, and for their quirky personalities, have recently found themselves at the center of controversy. Parents in New York City have expressed outrage over what they describe as the twins creeping around, a local playground, and allegedly bothering children. The allegations, which spread through social media platforms and parenting forums, have sparked intense debates about appropriate public behavior and the line between eccentricity and intrusion. The Indigo twins, Gabriela and Mihaela Modorcia, are no strangers to the limelight. The Romanian-born sisters gained fame in the United States following their stint on AGT, where their unique blend of theatrical performances and whimsical costumes made them stand out. However, their recent actions have drawn negative attention from concerned parents, with some even calling for their exclusion from public spaces like playgrounds. The incident at the playground, what happened? The controversy began when several parents reported seeing the twins at a playground in Manhattan, reportedly near Washington Square Park. According to witnesses, the twins were dressed in their typical flamboyant attire, flowing dresses, vibrant scarves, and eccentric makeup, which immediately caught the attention of parents and children alike. At first, some parents thought they were witnessing a playful, impromptu performance. The Indigo twins, after all, have built their careers on blending theater with everyday life, often performing in unexpected public spaces. But as time went on, 
parents began to express discomfort with what they described as uninvited interactions with their children. Reports suggest that the twins were not just passively observing or walking through the playground, but allegedly approaching children and engaging in unusual conversations. One parent, who wished to remain anonymous, stated, It wasn't that they were performing or doing anything overtly harmful, but they were creeping around the kids and engaging in odd, overly familiar behavior. It felt invasive. The word creeping became a common descriptor in online forums discussing the incident. Parents reported that the twins were asking children questions about their games, offering them trinkets or small toys, and, in some cases, following children around the playground. One mother posted on social media, My daughter was very uncomfortable with them. She said they kept asking her about her doll and wouldn't leave her alone. I had to step in and tell them to stop. Parents' reaction, upset and concerned. As more parents shared their experiences online, the situation escalated. Several expressed concern that the twins' behavior was inappropriate for a space meant for young children. Playgrounds are supposed to be safe spaces where kids can play freely without feeling watched or approached by strangers, one father wrote. No one is saying the Indigo twins are dangerous, but it's just not normal to have adults hanging around and talking to kids without permission. Other parents echoed this sentiment, suggesting that while the twins might not have meant any harm, their behavior was unsettling nonetheless. They're entertainers, and that's fine, another parent shared. But there's a time and a place for their act, and a children's playground isn't it. Several parents reportedly confronted the twins at the scene, asking them to leave the playground. However, according to witnesses, the twins did not immediately comply and instead tried to explain their actions as part of their artistic expression. One parent described the exchange as bizarre, saying, they didn't seem to understand why we were upset. They kept talking about freedom of expression and how they were just interacting with the world in their own way. Artistic expression versus invasion of space. The controversy surrounding the Indigo Twins raises important questions about the balance between artistic freedom and public space etiquette. The Twins have built their careers on pushing boundaries and challenging norms often blending performance art with real-life interactions. Their style is heavily influenced by their Romanian heritage, folk traditions, and avant-garde theater, making them hard to categorize or predict. For many, their work is an intriguing mix of surrealism and whimsy, but for others, it can feel intrusive or confusing, especially when it involves children. This incident has reignited debates about what is considered acceptable behavior in public spaces. Should public performers, especially those with unconventional styles, be given free reign to express themselves in spaces like playgrounds? Or do these spaces require a certain level of decorum and boundaries, particularly when children are involved? Some defenders of the Indigo Twins argue that the backlash is an overreaction and rooted in misunderstandings about their artistic intentions. The twins are known for engaging with the public in unexpected ways, one supporter posted on social media. They've always blurred the lines between performance and real life, and this situation is no different. They weren't hurting anyone, just trying to share their art. However, many parents disagree, emphasizing that the discomfort and distress felt by their children are valid concerns. It doesn't matter if they're famous or if they think they're doing art, one parent countered. If a child is uncomfortable, that's the end of the story. You don't get to impose your art on kids who didn't ask for it. The Indigo Twins respond, a misunderstanding. Following the growing controversy, the Indigo Twins issued a public statement on their social media channels, addressing the incident and expressing surprise at the backlash. In their statement, they explained that they were not creeping around or intentionally trying to make anyone uncomfortable. Rather, they saw the playground as a vibrant, joyful space where their spontaneous interactions could be seen as part of a larger artistic experiment. We have always believed that art should be everywhere, in every moment of life, the statement read. Our intention was never to cause harm or discomfort. 
We saw the playground as a place of freedom, where imagination and play rule. We wanted to contribute to that energy, to bring a little magic to the children's day. We deeply regret that our actions were misunderstood. The twins also addressed the accusations of inappropriate behavior, stating that they never engaged with any child without the presence of a parent nearby. We would never approach a child in a way that was inappropriate or without their parents' awareness. We are artists, and our interactions were meant to be light, fun, and imaginative. We apologize if any child or parent felt uncomfortable. What comes next? Despite the twins' attempt to clarify their intentions, the incident has left a lasting impression on the parents involved, many of whom remain unsatisfied with the apology. Some have called for the city to enforce stricter guidelines about adult behavior in playgrounds, while others have suggested that public figures like the Indigo Twins should be more mindful of their interactions with children in spaces designed for them. The incident also highlights a broader societal question about how we handle unconventional behavior in public spaces. While artistic expression is protected and celebrated, it must coexist with the need for public spaces to remain comfortable and safe for all, particularly vulnerable groups like children. As for the Indigo Twins, it remains to be seen how this controversy will affect their public image. Known for their offbeat and often polarizing style, the twins have never shied away from controversy in the past. However, this incident touches on sensitive issues of child safety and personal boundaries, topics that may prove more challenging to navigate than the artistic criticisms they faced before. In the meantime, the playground where the incident occurred has reportedly seen an increase in local patrols, and parents continue to discuss the need for vigilance when it comes to who interacts with their children in public spaces. Whether or not the Indigo Twins will alter their public behavior or continue with their unique brand of performance art remains uncertain, but the incident has undoubtedly added a new layer of complexity to their already colorful public personas. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our Update World 24 YouTube channel for more update news.